Hey guys, it's Kat and I am finally back to organize my lipstick collection. Now I did do organizing my makeup bag video and I talked about buying um, a couple products from the brand Etoile Collective, uh, which is an Australian brand. They do like makeup organization. Um, so I did review a makeup bag and I talked about buying one of these, which is a lipstick storage, sort of acrylic, drawer organizer these are designed to fit alex drawers um i believe the old ikea alex drawers not the new ones i didn't even know there were new ones but apparently there is um and if you set it up like this so it's just in the little tiny cubes you can fit uh 140 lipsticks so i bought this um i do also want to give an update with that makeup bag um i did share in my shorts an email i got from the brand owner um uh, appreciating the feedback I gave and they're actually going to make improvements to the makeup bag which is really really awesome so if you do want to read that email I do have it in my shorts I'll link it down in the description box but I really appreciate brand owners who don't get their back up over um, you know fair criticism and instead use it to improve their product so it makes me even more confident to talk about a Etoile Collective and um, yeah that's where I got this drawer organizer. Now I bought this a few months ago and I just haven't got around to using it. Since then uh, in the Black Friday sales they did have site-wide sales and I thought look 140 I've got way more lipsticks than that so I bought another one on sale. So I've got two of these I paid for them both. One I paid full price one I bought on sale um, and I'm going to assemble them and organize my lipstick collection today. All right, so this is <laughs> all the lipsticks that I've taken out of my drawers. I just had them sort of loose in these drawers. I've got two drawers to set aside. Obviously, I've got two sets of um, these drawer organizers. And in this drawer, previously I did have some of these just from Daiso. So you sort of cut them to size and you slot them in and you can make your own dividers. Uh, it is a cheaper way to do it, but it is flimsier. And I found that... Uh, I just didn't like them too much. I didn't tend to use them. So uh, these I do have in some other drawers, which I'll show you. It's an option if you want to organize your drawers. Um, look, these were, I think, $2.80 Australian a pack. But uh, again, they are flimsier. And you actually had to buy quite a lot of packs to fill up a whole drawer with the little cubes to make uh, lipstick organizers. So, um, yeah, I've got this aside, but I don't, I don't love them. These ones are sort of cut down, as you can see. Um, but that's an option. All right, I've just realized I've set aside two large drawers um, for my lipsticks and they don't need to be that big. Maybe one large one for like liquid lipsticks, but bullet lipsticks can fit in here. Now, this is what I'm gonna show you about the warped, like what's the point of even having the dividers? I need to organize these a lot better. These are like highlighters, blushes, bronzers, um, and you can see how these sort of just bend and move and things get messy anyway so look I'm just gonna leave it as it is because I've got sort of base products here I've got uh, sort of powder products blush highlighter bronzer here and then even though these are much bigger drawers and I could put like foundations um, I like the idea of going through the drawers like how I wear my makeup so base first then powders and then choose a lip product so if I want to change them in the future, I can, but I'm going to use the two big drawers that I've got down here. All right, let's start assembling these. So I'm going to open one up top. These are nicely protected. They do have styrofoam on each side. So, uh, and on the top, so they won't break. And essentially you just have bubble wrapped um, acrylic dividers with little slats in it so you can slot them together. All right, so we have 13 um, small acrylic bits uh, and they are designed to go the sort of width of the drawer and then you have nine longer ones and I'm gonna assemble this now. All right, I've already figured out a problem here. Um, they don't, the long ones don't actually go all the way the whole length. Um, so even though I've got the old Alex drawers, I didn't measure these. I just got the sort of standard size uh, and there's a lot of gap at the back. 
So I'm going to assemble it, see how well it fits. If there's a gap at the back, it's not that big a deal because I know there are some lipsticks that don't fit the standard size, so I can just chuck them all at the back. Um, but when you do buy something and you think it's going to be well fitted, it is a bit annoying when it doesn't fit. So let's, let's see how we go. I don't know if you, can, you probably can't see very well. Uh, there are some notches down the bottom at the ends and then all the rest of them are at the top. So it's best to sort of make your square or your rectangle of your outside sides, the too long and the too short, just to get the shape. And then slot these in first because these will slot into the big ones. Those, um, you can see it better here. Uh, that little notch that's facing down they fit better into the sides that way there's no instructions by the way which is why I'm telling you this um, you slot them in first and then you get the long ones which have the notches just on one side and you place them down and they all sit in nicely like that so it's fairly well it is easy to um, put together even without instructions but you know some people might get stressed over things without instructions but so far it's feeling very very sturdy much sturdier than those um, sort of adjustable Daiso ones these are also adjustable so if you want bigger spaces you just take some out to have bigger areas it's nice I like it there is a gap uh, I might decide if I want it at the front or the back but I sort of wish this went all the way through. This is by no means a new Ikea Alex drawer. This is probably like at least seven years old. So I figured I had the old one, uh, but it doesn't fit perfectly. So, so I'm just going to assemble the other drawer and then we'll I'll start organizing the lipsticks. All right, second drawer's done. I do want to mention something that I've noticed. These are better than these well bigger than these sort of individual ones that I just buy of like I don't know random places um this doesn't fit like the Fenty uh lip glosses but these ones do so these are quite big which is excellent because I found that these sort of individual ones are uh, yeah they don't they don't fit a lot um I've got this one by Milk Makeup it was a limited edition one with Wu-Tang and this also fits but they just do not fit these ones at all so um i i like these they're a good size they fit I'd say if they fit all my lipsticks but they fit most sizes of lipsticks and really sort of like strange um packaging designs apparently during this process a makeup bag has fallen behind the bottom drawer and i can't get it out so this is not closing properly it's very annoying um but right now i'm going to organize all these lipsticks into brands i thought that's the easiest way to organize them um and then we can see like how many spots each brand needs so that's what i'm going to do all right hopefully in front of me you can see i have been organizing things roughly by category i've got shiramira i've got mac i've got nars down here just some random brands black moon cosmetics lip stains uh focus on that please uh through to kaleidos i've got a whole pile of liquid lipsticks i've got some slim lipsticks mainly hourglass confession ultra slim lipsticks some more bougie brands um like pat mcgrath i've got a, a tom ford one in there uh charlotte tilbury then i've got more lip balms lip glosses um over here and some stick um these ones are by bourgeois i also have some by uh, Nas. I don't have them all here. Maybe I've mixed them up. I don't know. I'm missing some. I've got more than that. Um, anyway, so I'm trying to roughly organize them. It's not going to be perfectly organized. I can always adapt it as I go, but I just thought, look, I'm going to start with the brands that I have most of, like I'm looking at you, Mac, and I might start with bullets and then work down into liquid lipsticks and lip glosses. And that might be the way I'm dealing with it. It's a lot. It's a lot. Okay, something that I have found annoying about this being too short is you can see that you lose a row. So there's what, 10 lipsticks or something that I now can't fit in properly 
um, at the side that's got the big gap because they're just going to fall over. So this needs an end to hold it in, which is a bit frustrating. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to start with Mac. I'm going to just go through. I don't care about the shades. I'm just going to go through based on formula and maybe maybe formula that makes it easier. So I've decided to put them um, bottom up so I can see the names because especially with the MAC ones, um, I've got so many matte, like pretty much this whole row is matte formula that how can you tell which one's which? Um, because the little squares are so big, they do sort of just fall over. If you did have them up the right way, they do sit up nice and straight. But one uh, downside of having them this way is they, they sort of tilt, but it is what it is. I'm going to just check that these... Yep, they fit in the drawer. Luckily, I went with the big drawers. These tall ones fit in the drawer. Hooray. I'm going to leave a couple of spaces for more Mac in case uh, I get more, which I assume that I will at some point in time. Um, I'm going to move on to Shiramira. These ones I'm going to store face up. Doesn't really matter, but um, I can see through these ones, so it makes it a bit easier. Maybe I'll leave one spot for Mac because of that. I've got some backups that I'm going to put at the back in that big spot these ones are going to be label up but um, these are square so it makes it a bit easier anyway onto NARS so what am I going to do with NARS I'm going to leave a few gaps here just in case I come across more lipsticks that I want to fill All right, I'm just thinking I might actually squidge some of these together since the containers are so um, generous. I'm going to move some MAC ones together, give myself a little bit more space there. And also with these uh, crayon type uh, NARS ones, I'm going to fit a few in the same uh, box as well. So I can fit three in one square, so why not save the space? I'm going to go Black Moon Cosmetics next. I'm going to start a new row for Black Moon Cosmetics. I might just put some random ones in these holes later. So if I need uh, to expand the NARS or expand the MAC or the Shiramira, I could just take out the randoms and put them somewhere else. So I'm just going to put these Sinister Statins, which I love very much. I've also got a couple of Black Moon Cosmetics liquid lipsticks that I'm going to put in. Um, now, again, I don't have much space. I'm going to put them in here just because they can fit there. Onto my lip stains. Now, I mainly have uh, Tony Molly lip stains. They're my all-time favourite. I've got two types here. I've got the Shocking lip stain, which are a bit shiny, and I've got the sort of uh, matte version. I'm going to start with the shiny ones. I have the whole collection. I love them. They're amazing and I'm going to put them in number order because that's what I want to do. Since I'm going number order, I can go cap up because I can see what colour it is. That's number one. I'm currently missing number eight. I think it might be in a handbag. So I'm going to leave a space and then put number nine there. With the matte ones, I'm doing the same thing. Uh, I've got one to five. There are a few more shades added on, but I do didn't bother getting them. I didn't love the shades. So one and some random stains. Let's see if this one fits. Oh my God, they fit. Uh, this is also by Tony Moly. It's the Get It Tint Velvet. This one I kept because it's sort of a similar effect to the matte ones, um, but I, it's a shade that I don't have in the matte one. So I'm just going to keep that to the side there. I'm so glad it fits. It doesn't fit in anything. It's like a nail polish. These could actually fit nail polishes as well. If I have any more room, which I don't think I will. Uh, no, I don't have 140 nail polishes. I don't need another one of these. But if I want one in the future, I'll get one. Um, I've just got random lip stains here. So let's put them in. 
even though I've started going high um, with stains, I was about to put in some liquid lipsticks, but I still want to keep this predominantly bullets. So I've got some three concept eyes or three CE matte lipsticks um, in these beautiful colors. These do have numbers as well, but the packaging tells you what color you're getting. So I like when brands do that. I can see what I'm getting from the lid. All right, these ones have to be top drawer. These are mainly hourglass ones. I can probably fit a couple uh, per cube. And I've also got some other slim lipsticks that are quite nice as well that I'll put in there as well. All right, these are gonna be a nightmare to find because um, there's nowhere on the outside that it tells you the color. You actually have to open it up. So I can get an indication based on the packaging if the packaging is different. Um, but otherwise these fit, they can probably fit four. Yeah, they can fit four. I might condense it down a bit more. You can fit four lipsticks per hole, which is handy. And I've got an Alice Fast and a Lipstick Queen um, sort of like slim lipstick here as well. So I'll just put two of those in there. That is too tall. That's too tall for the drawer. So that has to go at the back. That's such a shame. It's such a nice lipstick. All right. Some top shelf bougie stuff. So some Pat McGrath, uh, Lisa Eldridge, that kind of stuff. We're just... Uh, some of them I've got a few from each brand, but mainly it's just the odd random things. So they're going to take up some of the back here. All right, I'm actually going to use this at the back, mainly just as a barrier. Like I can put other lipsticks in there if I need, if like need be. That can be backups or things I don't use too often. Um, but I mainly want that. I want to access that last strip because I've got some random ones here um, that I just want to put in. Um, and because they're bullets, they're like I don't want them to not go in the bullet drawer. Uh, these are just sort of standalone. I've got an essence. I've got a flower beauty. I've got um, a sugar pill. And then I've also got a Nabla one over there and I just, I don't want them to just carry over to the next drawer. I've got an unused mini of uh, Urban Decay one that I'm going to put in there as well. Laneige, this is sort of like a hybrid lipstick lip balm type thing. So that's going to be that drawer done. Let's have a zoom out so you can have a quick look. All right, so that's roughly the drawer there. I do have some random spots just to expand. So if I back to MAC things and I have more MAC lipsticks, I want to put them in here um, with the MAC ones. If I find more Shiromira ones in my handbag, which uh, I know I've got a Yaz Red that's not here. I think it's in a handbag. So that I'm just leaving some space. Um, what I might do is take my Linda Hallberg um, or LH Cosmetics Fantastic lipsticks. I was going to put these in my lip balm drawer, but I figure I might just pop them in here for now. Um, just to sort of fill up those spaces and I can always take them out and um, put them elsewhere down the track. I can put the baby YSL lip stain in there just for just for fun. All right, last drawer. I'm going to start with um, lip balm type products um, because I feel like I reach for them more than liquid lipsticks these days. So I'm going to start with just sort of clear balms. I've got just things that I want to use. So Burt's Bees, I've got some ultraviolet. These are like tinted lip balms with SPF in it, which is really handy. I've got a clear M Cosmetics lip gloss. Um, so that's handy. These are tinted lip oils, tinted lip glosses, lip balms. So Sigma, I've got some by Fenty, so they can go in there. Um, Jouer, Revlon lip oil, Colourpop, uh, Elf. These are more lip glosses, uh, generally tinted or with shimmer or something. So let's put these in. With these ones, I don't need to put uh, the label facing up because I can either tell from the tube what color it is, and I don't really care because they're all very similar, um, 
or they're just like one-off things so this is like from pixie for example i've only got one of them so um, i don't need to have the label facing up these are bigger stick things these are from uh laura mercier and these are sort of like matte balms so they're colored and they give you a bit of a hint of color but nothing too crazy so i'm going to put these in and these are going to be label up oh i might be able to fit a couple now nah, one per square bugger I've got some slim lipstick type products, um, so I'll just start putting these in. I might try to squidge a few in the same box. I know I'm missing Gingerbread Man. I've got Gingerbread Girl and I have Gingerbread Man. I think I wore it fairly recently. So um, I'll leave a gap for that one. So I've got plenty of room at the back for more, hooray! Um, and to find more uh, in my collection when I organize more drawers and whatnot, I'm sure there'll be lipsticks that are gonna pop up. Um, what I'm gonna do now is just put some of these. These are ones that I put aside for project panning. So I want to pan these sometime this year. So I'm going to just put them over here and as a little reminder that I eventually wanna pan them. And everything fits. There's no one lipstick. This Marc Jacobs lipstick, really, really hard to fit. It's got, firstly, this little button, um, which doesn't fit into other lipstick holders. The shape doesn't fit in. The button doesn't fit in. These are big enough to fit it. So I love the shape of these. It does mean they're a little bit more wibbly wobbly, but um, it fits everything. Um, the, yeah, the the, the problem was that it didn't fit right to the back and I've lost that last row, but I'm really happy that I've now got everything organized and I can see everything. I can grab whatever I want and I'm more inclined to use my collection if I can see it all. So previously it was just all piles and I was like rummaging through things. Now I know if I want to go show mirror, there's show mirror here. If I want to go stains, there's stains here. Max all at the front. So I know now where things are, lip balms, lip glosses, tinted lip products, liquid lipsticks. Like I know where things are, which is really handy. So that's me organizing my lip collection. Again, there's probably a few randoms that I need to add in here um, from other places, but I will just keep adding as I go and I've got plenty of space to do that. So I'm really happy with this setup. It's not perfect, gap's not perfect, um, but it's close enough to perfect for me and it fits everything and I just love the fact that it's everything is nice and organized. So yeah, it's definitely the best that I'm gonna do and um, I'm, I'm happy with it. Uh, I'll leave a link to these down below if you're interested, but I'm sure if you just find like, if you search lipstick drawer organizers, you might find things more local to you. You might find things slightly more affordable. If you do like this system and you wanted to check it out um, and it was a bit pricey, because I think it's around the 50 Australian dollar for each pack, which is quite pricey, but organi for organization like this, oh, worth it. Um, just wait for sales. They do, they had Boxing Day sales, they had Black Friday sales, so they might have, um, I don't know, end of financial year sales. I'm not too sure, but yeah, this is beautiful. I love it. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one and have a great day. Bye. Look at the organization. Beautiful. Hello. <gasps> love it. Love it. And I did need those tall drawers. Look, I'm glad I didn't change that. Liquid lipsticks definitely needed them. I'm very happy. Yay!